Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The first of December, Tuesday of the week of Advent 1, and I've transferred the reading and the prayer from uh, the first Sunday of Advent. Sundays we do other things, but I did not want to let this reading by Bonhoeffer, 1906-1945, from Life Together to go by. It is not necessary that we should get through the entire passage in one meditation. Often we shall have to stop with one sentence or even one word because we have been gripped and arrested and cannot evade it any longer. Is not the word Father or love, mercy, cross, sanctification, resurrection, often enough to fill far more than the brief period we have at our disposal. It is not <clears throat> necessary, therefore, that we should be concerned in our meditation to express our thought and prayer in words. Unphrased thought and prayer, which issues only from our hearing, may often be more beneficial. It is not necessary that we should discover new ideas in our meditation. Often this only diverts us and feeds our vanity. It is sufficient if the word as we read and understand it penetrates and dwells within us. As Mary pondered in her heart the things that were told by the shepherds as what we have casually overheard follows us for a long time, sticks in our mind, occupies, disturbs, or delights us without our ability to do anything about it, so in meditation, God's word seeks to enter in and remain with us. It strives to stir us, to work and operate in us, so that we shall not get away from it the whole day long. Then it will do its work in us, often without our being conscious of it. Above all, it is not necessary that we should have any unexpected, extraordinary experiences in meditation. This can happen, but if it does not, it is not a sign that the meditation period has been useless. Not only at the beginning, but repeatedly. There will be times when we feel a great spiritual dryness and apathy, an aversion, even an inability to meditate. We dare not be balked by such experiences. Above all, we must not allow them to keep us from adhering to our meditation period with great patience and fidelity. The Prayer, Samuel Johnson, 1709-1784. Almighty God, in whose hands are all the powers of man, who givest understanding and takest it away, who, as it seemeth good unto thee, enlighteneth the thoughts of the simple and darkeneth the meditations of the wise, be present with me in my studies and inquiries. Grant, O Lord, that I may not lavish away the life which thou hast given me on useless trifles, nor waste it in vain searches after things which thou hast hidden from me. Enable me by thy Holy Spirit so to shun sloth and negligence that every day may discharge part of the task which thou hast allotted me. And so further with thy help that labor which without thy help must be ineffectual that I may obtain in all my undertaking such successes as will most promote thy glory 
and the salvation of my own soul. For the sake of Jesus Christ, amen.